Smash that like button for me. I know the news is a little slow today, but I had to do something for my mother early this morning, and now I'm getting right back into it. I had to take a nap just now. But anyways, let's get right back to it. We got uh, so we got 50 Cent reacting to Tony Robbins. The video surfaced of him using the N-word a lot. Um, now, I see what he was trying to do in the talk you doing. He was trying to take the power out of it, but still, it's still like, eh. You know, it's like kind of cringeworthy watching, especially today. Um, I mean, especially anytime, but especially today. Uh, then we got Remy Ma. She's facing four more charges. We're going to look into that um, off of this goose chase of a money grab. Uh, she's really trying to get Remy Ma locked up, which is crazy to me. Uh, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys are having a great Friday and you guys have a great Memorial Day. Um, and let's get right into the news. Make sure you smash that like button for positive vibes. Let's get right into it. So Remy Ma is facing four more charges. Okay, so Remy Ma's... Uh, her publicist recently responded to everything and said this is a money grab attempt it's baseless there's no proof it actually shows she wasn't even there but the prosecutors have formally filed filed four charges against her for the alleged assault on britney okay so uh two counts of assault third degree one count of aggravated harassment in the second degree and one count of harassment in the second degree all misdemeanors, but all could violate her parole, okay? Um, Don Florio, uh, in the case, is the, one of the prosecutors. He uh, said that he's moving it up to an hour to align with the time Remy was at Irvington Plaza for the benefit concert. Oh, uh, Don Florio said it, it, was, it was off. The timing was off. That's Remy's attorney. Uh, Remy has been offered a deal to plead guilty to the assault to have other charges dropped. A plea that would also require her to enter a long-term anger management program. Remy hasn't taken the deal and her trial is now set for July. If that were her, I don't know. It's really, she, her lawyer is really going to have to give her uh, uh, some good advice on this. But I hope this doesn't hurt her parole. Because that, I don't think this happened. I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is crazy. I mean, she has a new family with Pap, you know. And as much as we might criticize other things of Remy, I, I, I'm all for Remy being free at this point. I think I feel like she already paid her uh, debt to society shooting that, per, that, that friend of hers. And her friend did steal money at that time. But still, you know, like, she, she did her time, man. You know, let her, let her, have, she learned a lesson, man. She's having a good, she's being good out here. She's having a, she has a family. Like, I'm all for Remy being free right now. This is crazy, man. This is where love and hop, hip hop might get you, man. I'm gonna be honest. Look what, look, look what the, the, the crap that's going on with Hazel E and that other girl. It's like, it's love and hip hop good stuff. It's like, it's not even real. It's like, it's like, it, it, like there's nothing real about it. It's weird. It's real weird. Anyways, then we got uh, then we got Tony Robbins. Okay, now I'm not gonna play the clip, but he, there's this clip where he's you know talking about uh, the N word and taking power from it, and calling someone the N word, and then, you know showing how you know he's removing the power from it. Well, Fifty Cent didn't like this. He said, "Tony Robbins, what the hell is at this point? Are you trying to prove? I know Oprah is not cool with that." Now, Tony Robbins and Oprah are very cool. Uh, yeah, Tony Robbins, just only days after it was revealed, has been investigated for sexual misconduct with fans and staffers. So, Tony Robbins is falling apart, man, basically. Um, his attorney did issue a statement that dismissed the idea that everything was uh, anything was wrong with it, saying the presentation was positive and accepted in the context as it was conducted a uh, passionate positive discussion on how racism and how to rise above it any suggestion Mr. Robbins is somehow racist or insensitive to African American community is absurd and false I mean I, I if you do watch it you do see that what he was trying to do there um, but still it's still weird uh, one of Mr. Robbins event partners for 25 plus years is African American what does that mean <laughs> that doesn't mean you're you know like 
And we're not saying he's racist. Just it's just it's a little crazy, you know. Like maybe he should have had his African American uh, partner come out. You know, the 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 guy who <laughs> represents him and uh, do this part of it. You know, so it's, it doesn't come across like this. Um, Fifty Seven isn't convinced. Anyways, guys, <laughs> we'll get to more news in a minute. This is Jordan with JT News. Please hit that like button, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys so much. and I hope you guys are having a great day today. You guys are awesome. Relax this weekend and get right back to it on Tuesday, man. I appreciate you guys so much. You know, it's a three-day weekend. I'm sure some of you guys took today off. Why not? Uh, make sure you go to Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian.com for free to go debate things on your credit to get into real estate and stuff like that. Peace, guys.